What's up, you guys? Today we are back. We are in Toka Life World. We're gonna create some characters. We haven't done this in a minute, if ever, honestly. But I thought of something that would be really fun, at least in my opinion. And I hope you guys are going to have fun with this as well. We are going to be recreating some iconic Sims characters here in Toka Life World. And this is actually going to be at least a two part thing because soon we will be creating some toka life world characters in the sims so be sure to like comment and subscribe to be able to see that video turn on notifications so you know when it is uploaded but today we are going to be creating sims in toka life world and i have gone and picked out three sims or uh, three characters i guess i should say if you hear a clicking sound it's because i have reference pictures open on my m computer so, for these characters, I do believe they are all in Sims 4, yes, or soon. Um, but two of them have been around longer than Sims 4. So, this first one that we're going to get into is actually going to be in celebration or whatever of the latest Sims 4 stuff pack. The paranormal stuff pack. Maybe you can already kind of guess, or maybe you can't, I don't know. Uh, it's going to be the wonderful Bone Hilda. So this should be interesting. I definitely think this is going to be the most challenging one. And that's why I want to start with it. So as you can see, I've gone ahead and set a skin tone. And I'm just looking through some other stuff. And just as almost like a heads up sort of deal, I guess. I might at some point just like not talk and speed up through this for the sake of entertainment and i'm trying to find the closest thing to bald as possible be since for those of you who aren't familiar with sims or this character bone hilda is a skeleton she is a skeleton maid so that's what we're having to try to recreate here and that's why i think she's going to be the most challenging because I'm not really sure how easily done that is, you know? I'm going to try to find something close to black as far as color goes. I think this is probably the closest one there. Is no eyebrows an option? Let's see. There's these, which are really, really low. Almost invisible. Um, no eyebrows is not an option. Huh. Ain't that something. So it's looking like these are probably going to be the closest. So I'm going to try to find... Ah, there we go. We can just kind of match it to the skin tone. So there's that. Now she doesn't have ears because like I said, she is a skeleton. But we're going to have to live with that. And then she does have teeth, of course. She doesn't have much of a mouth, necessarily. She just kind of has the teeth. And again, that's just what we're going to go with. I'm going to go in and try to find some blush. Because in some images, it looks like there's kind of some shading or something there. So I kind of want to create something that would work to that extent. Uh, maybe we could go with like a sort of brown. Kind of like contour is what I'm looking for. That might be a little too bright. Maybe something like that. Maybe. I don't know. To be honest, I'm spending too much time on this face, I feel like. Because I think the goal is going to be to find a skeleton mask. But now we need to find something... At least close to a maid uniform. I'm not sure one exists in the game or not. Because, fun fact, I don't have every single thing about the game memorized. Someone was asking if I knew the location of a ring. And, fun fact, I don't. I do not know where a lot of things are. If you've never seen my secrets videos, then I, I understand that. But if you have ever seen them, then you know very well that I have absolutely no idea what anything is when it comes to these games. Like, I try. I try really hard. And there are some things that if you ask me, I would know. Oh, that's, that's nice. We might go with this if I can't find 
a maid outfit. But there's like some things. If you asked me, yes, I would know exactly where it is and everything. But there's also just some things that no, I have absolutely no idea. And I'm sorry. I'm not really finding, yeah, I'm not finding too much of a maid uniform anywhere. But I did find the skeleton costume. And I think we could go with something like this or that other black and white dress I had going to try to be similar. This is more of a character inspired by Bonehilda. This is not Bonehilda, this is merely inspired by her. But I feel as though I've checked everywhere it could have been, and it's just not existent. So that would be something cool to see added into the game, I guess. And maybe we will see that in time. But for now, let's continue on and look at this stuff. So there's a lot of things here, but I think... Actually, let's... Yeah, let's go over here, because I think we need a mask. I do think there's a skeleton mask somewhere. Maybe. I could be very wrong. If I'm wrong, then this video has been a failure. Well, I didn't see a mask. And that's quite a situation, in my opinion. Because I very strongly thought that there was a skeleton mask somewhere. I mean... Uh, okay... This is not a good sim to choose, I guess. Cause this is all, like, hoods. I mean, I could do that. There's got... No, there's a skeleton character. There's not a skeleton mask, is there? I have no idea, guys. I warned y'all. I warned y'all very much about this. Um... So... Th that's not what I meant to do. This is quite interesting. To realize that there's not a skeleton mask. Oh, this has been quite a fail. Look, guys, this happens. Sometimes fails happen, and guess what? That's okay. It's okay to fail. And we're going to accept this failure and just say that this is as close as we're going to get to Bonehilda. And I would like to apologize to Bonehilda. Hopefully Sims 4 does her much better than I have. <laughs> I think it will. Uh, moving on from that, hopefully this next one will go a lot better we are going to go into bella goth because it, when you say iconic sims character this is precisely who i think i think the goths because they've been around since the original sims i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure you, we saw bella and Mortimer in sims 1 of course we saw them as children in the sims 3 they existed in the sims 2 Though I don't know if they were adults or what. I'd assume that they were adults. Yeah, they had to have been adults because of the way the storyline looks. Yeah, that would, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Anyway, continuing on. Um, Then in Sims 4, they are back. They are, again, adults. A young adult and adult. And they've got children. And it's really cool. And they're just really iconic characters. I don't know where that was supposed to be going. So now, let's create a bella goth and i have multiple reference images up for me to look at um i it's mainly sims 4 but there are a few pictures of the previous games as well as some like fan um upgrades i'll say like when people give her makeovers and stuff so that's a thing now she is she has a nice tan skin tone in a lot of it it looks like and she does have dark black hair in every single game and uh, that looks black to me and then we need to pick up a hairstyle i'm trying to think and talk and it's not going well this is why when i released the sims version of this like creating toka characters in the sims a lot of it is going to be sped up simply because I suck at talking and doing this at the same time. I'm looking, and I'm mainly looking at The Sims for, like I've already said, to determine the best hairstyle for her. This isn't quite it. That's not quite it. This is a pretty good go, actually, to be honest. I kind of really like that. I think we're going to go with this one. All right. 
Uh, we could change up the eyes to this, but I think I will do this one with the multiple lashes. That feels like Bella. Gonna give him a triangular nose, I feel like. Maybe, like, we'll go with this one. And for the color, I don't know if I can match the skin tone, but we're going to try to get something close to it, I think. Because that seems reasonable to me. Probably already tried that. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, mm -mm -mm. it's pretty bright even at the darkest setting. Okay. I don't really like how the pink noses look. That, okay, actually that looks really good to me. Maybe it's kind of odd to somebody else, but I like it. And then for brows, she has pretty simple brows. She has thin ones with a bit of an arch. So I'm thinking these are probably the best for her. And they do seem to match her hair pretty well. Maybe slightly lighter than her hair, but not by much at all. And she does not have freckles, but she does wear blush. Of course she does. Because a classy lady like Miss Bella Goth would be wearing blush. So I'm going to pick that out. And it seems as though she does wear a sh shade of pink. So we're going to put that on her. And getting into clothes, she wears a red dress. The iconic red dress. I mean, it's not Bella Goth if it's not a red dress. So here's option A with the hearts. I think that... That fits her, that fits her personality, but we could do better, maybe? I have something in mind here. Actually, maybe we can't do better, now that I think about what I have in mind. I haven't found what I have in mind, though. It might, it's probably here, honestly. I like this, because it has the hearts, she has a flirty personality, and it's, like, just the two straps up top, and... For Bella Goth, there are no straps. It's a strapless dress. However, when I first thought of doing this video, I thought of this for some reason. Probably because it also has the black tights. And in at least The Sims' fur version, she seems to have some sort of tights under her dress. I could be very wrong. Most of these images don't show her legs. But the more I'm looking at it, I do feel as though the one with the hut really shows off Bella Goth Ma. And I do think that will be it for Bella Goth. For Bella, for Goth, I don't know. Um, But that's simply because we can't add, like, necklaces or anything. In a lot of her designs, all of her most recent ones, all except for the original game, she does wear a necklace, very similar in all three games. And, obviously, she does normally wear, like, a wedding ring and maybe some other stuff. But I think that's all we can do in Toka Life World. And so let's get on to that last sim. Now, the last sim, it's like, it doesn't jump out to me as iconic when I hear the name necessarily. Oh, no, when I think of sims for iconic characters. But then I hear it, I'm like, oh my gosh, you couldn't have sims for without this character. And this character is none other than Bob Pancakes. Yes, Bob Pancakes. Everybody loves him, except for his wife, Eliza. That, that's really the mood. So let's get into it. He has a skin tone, I'd say similar to Bella's. Definitely not the same at all, but kind of similar. Uh, I think this is a pretty close match. Probably the closest we're going to get in Toka. And honestly, I'm kind of happy with it. So we're going to go into the hair. And he has short hair. We could do something like that. I think maybe a bit more to it, though. Maybe. Depending on what th this game has. Let's see if they have something that would do well for Bob. That could do okay. Still not necessarily perfect, in my opinion. Oh, I like this one. I like this one a lot. Let's do this one. And he does have black hair just like Bella's. Maybe like that. 
And he does have a beard and mustache. And he does have quite a bit of it, too. The mustache does go all the way down to his beard. Might do something like this, honestly, because I kind of like that. So let's just get that close to his hair color. And his eyes are good. And then he needs his brows. And he's a very tired kind of dude. Maybe a little bit sad as well. So he needs some eyebrows to match. We should probably modify his mouth to match as well. But I think he's got kind of bushy brows as well. So maybe something like this. Again in that same color because that's how Sims is. It's very common for these towny Sims to have entirely matching situations. So for his mouth, I think I'm just going to give him this very basic one right here, maybe. I'm not sure. Is there a frown at all? Because if there's a frown, that might work well for him. I just don't think he needs a big smile. Cause that doesn't feel like the Bob Pancakes character I know. Yeah, there isn't a frown, it seems like. All right. So, now we can get into his clothes. He has very simple, basic clothes that I don't know if they exist in this game or not. And there's actually going to be two different options here, depending on what I find. I'm just saying, one of these fan makeovers, he wears something similar to that. We could also dress him in this, if needed. That almost works. It's kind of the closest thing, really. It needs to be, like, this color, but on this to be him. So I'm going to go here into t-shirts and see what they have. Because his, like, everyday, maybe? One of his outfits that I'm seeing a lot, including, like, his official Sims for pictures, is a t-shirt and shirts. So we're going to look... For something like that. Definitely not that. That makes him look way more active than he is. I don't believe Bob Can Pancakes is that active. That's getting there. But still looks too busy for him. Like there's, it's got the necklace and the bracelets. And that doesn't feel like Bob either. This is kind of tempting honestly. Just imagine like the sweater situation at the top. Is just like his robe <laughs> tied around. Because why not? But, uh, oh gosh. This didn't go overly well for any of these guys, I just want to say. This did not go as well as I was expecting. And honestly, I think I'm going to go with this for Bob. I know it's not a robe, but it's the right colors. It looks lazy and relaxing, and he's got the slippers. And so there we go. That's Bob Pancakes. These are three creations we made. Bonehilda, Belagov, and Bob Pancakes. And honestly, my favorite has to be Bob. And please comment down below and let me know who your favorite is. Let me know who you'd like to see me create next. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Do that comment stuff down below. And subscribe to become a Freaky Fabzillion. I love you guys. Bye!